Hey, everybody, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today we have none other than Brittany Giroudi, and she's going to be making a recipe from the Ultimate Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle, Orange Cauliflower Bites. What's a bundle, you may ask? Click the link below and get it from Brittany. You get almost $6,500 worth of content, eBooks, courses, coupons, exclusive video for $49. It's really a steal, but it's only for a very limited time. As a matter of fact, it's just for a few more days. And once it's gone, it's gone. It will never appear. And this is all new content. So please check it out and please welcome Brittany to the show. How's it going, Britt? It's going well. I'm so excited to be a part of the bundle again this year. I'm so glad you 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 joined us. I really appreciate it. And I love what you're making because I love cauliflower. Cauliflower until recently, I feel was such an underrated vegetable, you know? Definitely. And it's a great way to get in a bunch of it, which is nice. So I, I love this recipe. And it's so simple. You're gonna see it only takes me a couple minutes to whip it up. You're kidding. Well, I can't wait. Well, it sounds delicious. But before you get started, why don't you tell us um, about your contribution to the bundle? Yeah, so I included my second weight loss ebook. Um, everyone would ask me specifically how I lost all of my weight. What exactly did I do? Um, is this recipe weight, lo weight loss friendly? Is this one? And so I just decided to put them all into ebooks. And then I could just tell people this is exactly what I did to lose like 70 pounds. So this is my second one. It's 30 recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, really simple and easy recipes. And the recipes that even if you've already lost all of your weight or if you're not interested in weight loss, they're still favorites. We still eat them. This is going to be my dinner tonight. Um, so we just love, love how simple they are. Well, speaking of your weight loss, how many years ago was it now? And um, it looks like you've kept it off beautifully. Yeah. So I started, um, I believe I've been plant-based for over six years now. It's going by so quick. So yeah, I've just loved the lifestyle and, um, when I decided to go, it wasn't necessarily for weight loss. It was to get my health back, but it was uh, a mind shift of I'm planning on doing this for forever. So I'm just excited that, um, you know, the food is amazing and recipes are creative and this community is so great to give so many ideas like the bundle. Yep. Kelly says, I'll get to meet Brittany at the NHA conference. I'm curious, uh, did you have any struggles keeping it off? Any slips and slides or was it smooth sailing? It's been pretty smooth sailing. Um, we luckily uh, have me and my husband do it together. So it's very convenient that our home is whole food plant-based and SOS free and all of that. So it hasn't been too difficult, I will say. Um, moving was a little bit more chaotic. Uh, I know we kind of moved around the same time last year. And, um, you know, that can just kind of throw a wrench in your routine. But overall, it's been pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because, you know, you mentioned SOS free and we have a lot of SOS free offerings in the bundle. We have Dr. Frank Savatino. And I find that, uh, you know, there's more liberal approaches to weight loss and being plant based. But I find for people that struggle that those two S's can really make a difference because most of us, I don't say most of us, but most people that do whole food plant based, you know, that come to it for health are already doing oil free and know it. But I find that that little bit of sugar, that little bit of salt, that little bit of flour is why a lot of people just can't seem to meet their weight loss goals. At least that's been my experience. Yeah, and I, and I went into it um, specifically to prevent heart disease and breast cancer from what my parents suffered with. So um, I was really strong into the research and science behind it. So I kind of followed Dr. Greger's lead and his approach and, and all of his wonderful videos. So that, that really for me was my eye opening to SOS free and then finding the NHA was amazing because they've been doing it for forever. Um, so I just, I've been so lucky to be a part of the NHA and, and what they stand for. Cause I do think SOS free is really important as well as, you know, oil free. Yep. Absolutely. Well, I, I imagine this recipe is, Hey, curious, did you notice anything else in the bundle that looks good to you? I did. I loved for me, it was, you know, for me, it's so exciting because I don't always have time to keep up with what everyone else is doing in the plant-based world. So I feel like the bundles are such a nice peek inside of everyone else's like what they offer. So I loved all the courses. Um, Tammy's course on salads was amazing. I loved a lot of the raw stuff, even though I'm not a raw vegan. Uh, I love raw meals every, you know, I eat a lot of raw and cooked things. 
So for me, um, specifically being somebody who makes recipes, I think that, you know, being whole food plant-based as OS free, obviously you have to be creative in your recipe development. And then the raw vegans on top of it, it's like, for me, it's, it's inspiring to see how creative they are. So there was um, a Mexican ebook with all the different dishes um, as well. So we'll be using some of those for Cinco de Mayo. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to how creative things are, um, especially with the raw group that put their stuff in. Yeah, very cool. And plant-based Japanese, I just had a chance to look at it last night. That's a beautiful book too. Yeah. And then, the, and then I also love that the NHA gave like their entire conference from last year. So I, I was lucky enough to present at the conference, but you miss, I miss out on so much. Cause I'm like running around. I help out with the kids program at that conference as well. So for me, it was so nice to like get caught up like, Oh yeah, this is what ha- was happening while I was, you know, not available. So all the courses and, and things like that that they offered, I think was so special. Yep. That's great. Well, I love cauliflower. So how easy is this recipe for real? Super easy. All you need is a blender. We're just, we cut up a head of cauliflower to call um, florets. And all we're going to do is make the sauce, pour it on top and bake it and it's done. So I can't get much easier. Um, And then the recipe for the sauce is only a couple of things. So I have, um, and I'll give you guys the full recipe today. Uh, So it's one medium cauliflower cut up. I had a little bit of a larger one, so we'll see how it goes. Um, But this is just cut up into florets. And then the sauce is just one cup of cooked white beans. And it can be any white bean that you prefer. And I love beans in sauce recipes. It's it's a nice way to sneak it in, makes you fuller, um, makes it creamy and delicious. And then I have, um, I don't usually like juice at all. I don't really drink juice. I try to stick with the whole whole foods, but I do find that for this recipe, a little bit of juice helps flavor everything. So two thirds cups of orange juice is in here. And this is really the only juice that I use ever um, for this, for any of our recipes, but for the orange uh, cauliflower bites, you needed a little bit. And then I have one teaspoon of lemon juice. I have one fourth teaspoon of ginger juice, a little bit of bite there, and then just one large pitted date and that's it. So like, it's pretty much one in. Got any idea for the beet stuff for me? I, what would you use? I can't have tofu either. What was the, what? Bean sub for for me, bean sub. Uh, You could try to think now. Um, yeah. And I mean, you, if somebody wasn't necessarily trying to lose weight, I would say cashews, but I know that, um, yeah, I don't want to do nuts. So, right. <laughs> um, so I would, I would have to think about that for a okay, little bit. Think about it. You have my number. You can always check. Okay. Me. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. You're so cute. Maybe some, maybe some frozen cauliflower. Yeah, um, I was thinking maybe some, that's what I was thinking. Maybe steamed cauliflower as this, yeah. like, and they could really up the nutrition. It's cauliflower and cauliflower. Right. And I, I love adding frozen cauliflower. If we ever do smoothies or um, even like into some like nice cream and things oh, yeah. like that, that's a great way. We have um, one of my friends, Ross always recommends frozen cauliflower and things. Yeah, you know, I have a course in the bundle called fall in love with vegetables. And I have a, a pudding. Actually, I have two things. I have a rice pudding made with cauliflower and I have a cherry parfait, a cherry mousse made with cauliflower. So get the bundle and you can get those two recipes, guys. And that's what I love about the bundle and being whole food plant-based is that like when you think that there's not a substitute, there is, and you can kind of figure it out and, and tweak it no matter what, you know, plan you're on. There's always something to kind of make it your own and enjoy it. Yeah. Are you, yeah, I know you're a teacher. You're not able to like talk about this to your students or are you? So I actually run um, cooking club at my school. I volunteer to do that. Um, so I, whenever I present something for cooking club, it's whole food plant-based SOS free as a nice, like sneak in of it. Um, I necessarily don't like, sometimes my students find my YouTube channel, which is really fun. Students I've had from back when I started teaching have found it and have graduated now. Um, so that's been really neat to kind of connect with them. And a couple of them have told me they've made different things from the channel. So little ways of like dropping little hints of it. Yeah. I like to, I like to label everything that it's like allergy friendly um, too, because that's a nice selling point because now there's so many allergies with kids. Wow. Cool. Uh, Nettie wants to know how long did it take you to lose 70 pounds? 
Um, I would say probably, I would say probably a year. I did it really slow. Um, you know, my goal necessarily wasn't, I was obviously overweight, um, morbidly obese for my height, but that wasn't like my main focus. It was my high blood pressure and C-reactive protein and cholesterol that really were the things that made me kind of change and, and really do this at such a young age at 26. So I was really like marking those things more than, you know, I jump on the scale every now and again, but um, I would say roughly around a year. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, and everything came down, you know, it all came down with, with the weight. So that was really, you know, a lovely, uh, nice benefit of doing this as well as feeling so good. Wow. Cool. So I'm just going to blend this real quick. It's nice because it doesn't take long. Um, I love, everyone asks me about the blender too, and I love the Vitamix. I, I always tell people that's my favorite, favorite to use. And we have the Ascent series, so it's nice because it has that food processor um, as well. But it blends up to be nice and creamy. It smells very orange juice, orange smelling. And I just pour it all on top. It, um, one of the viewers made a suggestion that I'll read to you. It kind of sounds like a good one that uh, using potato for me instead of like maybe oh, it could yeah. be on gold. Yeah, definitely. Cooked potato. I definitely would try it. Yeah. Uh, Dave wants to know where does one get ginger juice? So um, I found that a lot of, I'm lucky that there, I have a smoothie and juice place pretty close, so I can kind of get them to do it for me. Um, a lot of like juice bars will have it. Um, I've seen, I've seen it carried online as well. So I would just make sure you always like read ingredients to make sure it's just the one ingredient. Mm. But if you can't get it, you can always, you know, throw in, you know, a little bit of ginger as well and some extra lemon juice that works. So I just like to toss it to make sure each florette is covered. And then we're just gonna bake this and that's it. So easy. Now I just grab a parchment paper line, you know, parchment paper on a baking sheet. And I just try to space them out so there's a little bit of space. Another thing I love about, you know, I know people are like either committed to eBooks or they always like to complain that it's not like a printed book, but I love it for a couple of reasons that it's so friendly about how much paper we're not wasting. I can't yeah. tell you how many books I have that I never open that are sitting, you know, when we were moving, I, you know, it was like going through which ones do I donate because we have an abundance of, you know, I could literally fit a whole room of books. Um, but I love that you can print out the ones you want. I also love that you can take it on your phone to the grocery store. So how many times are you like doing a recipe and then you forget the ingredients that you have it right there, or you can have it on your phone while you're cooking or an iPad or the computer. So I feel like eBooks are, um, they get a bad rap. I love them. And the bundle makes it so easy to save them and have them available whenever you need. Absolutely. Uh, Laura wants to know how much did you lower your cholesterol? Yeah. So it went from two, 242 down to, I think it was, uh, got down to 118 last time I checked my total. So really a nice drop. Um, we were starting to talk about putting me on a statin. We hadn't quite committed to it yet because I was already on two different blood pressure medicines and things like that. Um, but it was definitely coming up, you know, at the next appointment, if it hadn't lowered and Luckily it, it did. And I haven't had to be on anything for it. And you were so young. Yeah. Only 20, 25, 26. And wow. I'm sure it was higher than that. I have vivid memories of going to pediatricians and then like pulling my parents aside, kind of hush hush and talking about cholesterol before I even knew really what cholesterol means. Like, oh, it's kind of high. So I don't know how long necessarily I probably had it in childhood too. Most people wait their whole lives to make a change like you did, if they even make it at all. Right. Yeah. And I'm so lucky. I, I always say that this is the biggest blessing that I've ever had because, you know, I did figure it out so young and stick with it that, you know, I necessarily didn't have to have a heart attack. I didn't have to have a major event. 
um, to, you know, then make a decision. And so I always try to stress with people that are my age and younger that you don't really want to wait, obviously, until those things happen. Um, if you ask anyone who's had a heart attack or had an illness, they would much rather, you know, trade anything to, to do this lifestyle first recovering from it. It's like the people that wait until they get lung cancer and then they'll quit smoking. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I always try to tell people, you know, even if you necessarily don't have an issue, it doesn't mean that you never going to have an issue doing this. If you think you're healthy, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are healthy. Um, really, this is the, the ticket to, to being, you know, different, you know, older and surviving and, and thriving like so many people in the plant-based world, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to getting older and enjoying it versus a lot of the people that are around me. Great. So what this you- was into the oven oh. at 350 for 40 minutes, super easy. Um, we take it out. I like to add a little bit of orange zest to it before I plate it. And if you guys haven't tried sumo oranges, they're the best. Um, they're in season right now. And so I love using the zest and then literally eating the orange um, from it. So just a little bit of orange zest after it comes out. And then we also sometimes add fresh black pepper to this, parsley. We serve it with a whole grain and it's chopped salad. And that's, you know, this is literally going to be my dinner tonight. Yeah. Do you ever do it in the air fryer? Um, you know what? Since we moved, I don't have an air fryer. I what didn't do you mean you left your air fryer? We did. Yeah, I, I, I did. I gave away my, my Breville and we have two ovens. Are you nuts? I just, I know I would, well, I bought the air, I brought the Breville because my oven at my first house, um, heated up the entire place where it would be like a hundred degrees in my small kitchen. And then when we moved here, um, we put in a wall oven and a regular oven and I just haven't found that I really have been using it. So yeah, we gave, I gave it away. So I don't wow, have what a lucky time. person to have received a gift like that. I tried carrying it around to different cooking demos, but then it just became, no, it's really big. You gotta get a small, you gotta get, you gotta get a small one for that. We, you know? we actually take the small Breville. I do have a small Breville, but it's in our camper. So we do take that when we go camping, um, as our, our oven on the road. Yeah. And then these guys will pop in the oven and then really easy. I can, I can put the rest on another baking sheet of parchment paper and I have dinner and it's going to be really easy and delicious tonight for me. Wow. But that's so great about, especially what I put in for the bundle is that all the recipes are like this simple, you know, nothing's difficult, nothing's hard. And um, generally all of my recipes serve two people. So it's kind of nice too, that, you know, you can have dinner and have a leftover if you're the only one in your house doing it. Do you, do you camp a lot? We do. So we bought, we bought a camper right before the pandemic. Um, and then the pandemic hit and everyone bought campers. <laughs> um, so we got lucky. We got it and didn't have to wait. And we go out pretty much almost, I would say twice a month. Uh, once the weather starts getting warmer here. So we usually have to wait until around Easter um, to start. Although I have camped a couple of times in the snow. Oh my, I'm wondering, do you ever have any trouble sleeping? Because Dr. Lyle was on the show Tuesday and he said for people that have trouble sleeping, they need to go camping. I don't, but I'm very lucky that sleep has not been ever an issue for me. I'm, I'm, um, very, I'm a very good sleeper, thankfully. But we are, we are having a whole food plant-based, uh, camping trip in, in July. So we did one last year as our first, first time ever in Maryland, where we booked the place, um, stayed in the campground. And then we let all of our friends know that are whole food plant-based in our community. And about 30 people came camping with us for the weekend. And what I love about the campground that we pick Rocky Gap is that there's a resort around the lake. So people stayed at the resort who didn't want to camp. And then people camped that liked camping and we all met up and did like tons of activities on the beach and cooking demos and different things like that. So we're doing that again the last weekend in July. Um, And I think around 60 people are coming this time, which is really fun. Wow. And and what's what city or state is this in? It's at Rocky Gap. It's in Maryland. Um, Flintstone is the is the area. 
Flintstone, like Fred Flintstone? Yeah, yeah. And it's about um, it's about two hours from Pittsburgh. So um, pretty close to people that live near me. Wow. Okay. Somebody said the bundle link wasn't working. I just tested it. I'm putting it in again. So guys, click it. I, when I click it, it works, you know, so that's what it's got to work for the viewers too. That's yeah. fun. So many people messaged me last time we did the bundle, like the couple of days after asking if they could get it still. And it was, you know, I had to tell them you have to wait all the way until February till we do this again. So yeah. Don't wait until the last day. Why do people want to wait? I don't understand. I mean, if you do it by PayPal, you can make six payments. If you have to, that would be like, I don't know, what's that? Like $12 a month if you really needed to set it up. But I mean, don't wait. That's crazy. We get so many emails one minute after midnight on Sunday saying, I, you know, it's like, I didn't open my email. I'm like, well, sorry, you know, rules are rules. Because if it wasn't, if, if we didn't do this, then, you know, it wouldn't be special if anybody could get it at any time, but it's only once a year. Yeah, and I'm, I've never seen a bundle that's oil-free. Um, I've bought a couple of other vegan bundles uh, in the past to help support friends that have done them. But um, I always feel like this one is so special because you really curate, you know, who's in there as well. Yeah, we, we do our best every now and then something might slip through, but we sure try. So what have you had for breakfast and lunch today so far? We know what your dinner is. Yeah, so breakfast, generally, I'm kind of boring with breakfast. It's kind of a staple every day. I, I have oatmeal. Um, it's kind of my go-to. I sometimes do overnight oats. Sometimes I do hot oats. Sometimes I bake them into like a banana cookie um, and serve it that way. So one of those three ways is generally how I'm eating it. Uh, today, we did overnight oats. So really easy just to kind of pull them uh, from the refrigerator. And then lunch, I generally do a big chopped salad. So, you know, I have a huge chopping bowl that I fill up with mixed greens, usually a variety, and then add, you know, beans and a whole grain to that. And then this will be dinner. So generally breakfast and lunch, I'm kind of similarly boring. <laughs> I don't think it's boring at all. I mean, it's only boring if you don't like it, you know? Yeah. And it makes it easy not to think about it. I feel like, um, especially people that make recipes all the time, you know, I'm always thinking of different things for, for dinner per se, or when I'm making recipes. So it's nice to kind of not think about necessarily, like I already know I have that planned um, for what I'm having. Fantastic. Well, I've eaten the same thing for lunch since January of 2012. Hannah Yam, about two pounds and a pound of broccoli. And honestly, I don't, it's so good. I don't ever tire of it. And when I have to travel, it's like, oh, I miss it so much. Yeah. And I, and like, that's what people ask me, like what um, salad dressing I have. And I, it's literally the same salad dressing that I use all the time, which um, is, which is which one? and um, California balsamics, like a different one and mix the two together. Sometimes I'll put stone ground mustard in there. Um, and that's literally, I just change up the flavor of the balsamic and yeah. never get tired of it either. I mean, he has enough flavors for you to do a different flavor every month. If you decided you wanted to. I have some favorites. So usually it's between, um, I really like the Italian one that really like changes it up the seven Italian. And then, you know, we do um, different fruit ones that are fun and, and different. So yeah, I feel like it's creamy. It kind of marks all the boxes for that I'm looking for. Yeah. Gina's asking where to get the recipe. So I'm posting the link, the recipes in the bundle. And so are 2000 other recipes. P2 just described to your channel. She he or she likes to learn new ideas. And Lorna says, I didn't wait. I picked it up on the first day. Still have to download it onto my computer, though. You have a whole year to download it. And guys, we really recommend one of these little guys. It's under 700 megabytes, but I think it's really important to have one of these because you never know. And uh, let's see. Uh, Kathy says, I love Brittany Giroudi. She's such a talented recipe creator. And yes, the $49 is USD. And Honey is saying, can you post the link to the camp out? If Brittany gives it to me, I'd be happy to post it. Yeah, and it's on our website. So if you go to, um, to our website link and go to events, it's there as well. But it's so much fun. We, like, I was a little nervous because it was the first year doing it. Um, of course, you know, I never know how it's going to turn out. But everyone who came last year signed up to come again. So that was a really good sign that everyone had fun. And uh, I just feel like people really got to interact. You know, conferences are awesome and super motivating. 
but it was nice to have some downtime just to kind of hang out with people. Um, so I feel like people made like lifelong friendships too from it. What do you do all day, if I may ask? Yeah, so we did a bunch of different stuff. We did a beach hangout um, the evening that we arrived. We did a cooking demo and hiking uh, the second day, along with um, this year, we're going to do some like water toys. They have a place you can rent kayaks and canoeing and different things like that. Um, and then, you know, we did um, a potluck, lots, of, you know, pretty much anything you can think of that you can do there, uh, which is amazing is that we we try to fit it all in. And can you bring pets? You can. We bring our two dogs with us. Because what, what? how fun would it be if you couldn't bring your pets? Yeah, lots of people brought their dogs. Uh, and then they have cabins. Some people stay in the cabins. You can bring dogs um, there. Like I said, we bring our two. There was tons, tons of little furries. People brought their families too, which is really fun. Um, we had one family bring all of their kids. They were a family, I think, of um, six or seven. So it was really fun to see a wide variety of people come out for it. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, Jacqueline was wondering if you have a before picture. I don't know if you have one handy or maybe it's on your website. It's definitely on my website. I don't have one um, on hand right now, but definitely if you Google my name, the before pictures come up. Well, uh, Drake says Camp Gerudi is amazing and you get to meet so many like-minded people who become friends. I'd like to do that, but more of a hotel setting, if you will. <laughs> yeah, and it's nice because the place that we stay, like there, it's all connected between a big trail and a lake. So it's a five mile trail if you go all the way around and it's really easy to drive over to each side. So it was nice. We did a little bit of both sides. And there was definitely people that, you know, like to stay at the resort. And um, it's a very nice resort. There was a spa, golf, whole everything, restaurants. Um, and then we worked with the NHA because uh, Wanda and Mark come with us as well. And they even got some things put on the menu, which was really fun, too, if people didn't want to bring all their own food. That's very cool. Well, it sounds like you're doing a lot of fun and helpful things to people. And that's amazing. Yeah, it's a great, great time. I'm really looking forward to the one coming up in July. Wow. And tell me again what you have in the bundle and why people should buy it and what else you like about the bundle. So I put our second ebook. It's 30 recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, and snacks. Um, all recipes that I used losing all of my weight. And I love it because it's so easy. All of my recipes serve two people. So it's really simple to, to make. Everything's really, you know, simple ingredients, easy to do. And I love being a part of the bundle because, you know, everyone puts in new items every year. So, you know, if you got the bundle last year, this is all new stuff. And, you know, it's, it's literally the best value. I, I can't stress enough that there's no way you'd be able to get everyone's stuff for this price. It's kind of unbelievable. And anytime I see a bundle, generally, I'm trying to purchase it as well, because it's literally a, like a deal of the year um, to get everything for $49. Yeah. And we, we have fitness people and yoga people and the yoga teacher training and coupons. There's just, you gotta at least click the link and see what it is. Yeah. There's 25 hours of yoga training in there. And um, I love, you know, all of the people that put coupons in there too, like the date lady and um, lots of other brands that I'm, I have saved to use. Cause they're definitely items that I'm using quite often making recipes. Nice. Well, thanks so much for coming on. I know you're busy. I appreciate the quick and easy recipe and I'm so happy you're in the bundle again. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course, Brittany. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back at 3 p.m. for our fifth and final show of the day with Dr. Jim Loomis from PCRM and Karen Dugan from St. Louis. And click the link if you want to get it from Brittany right now because it's going to be gone soon. Take care, everyone.